Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're almost finished with Colossians. In fact, we're talking about Colossians 4, uh, verses 7 through 14 today. But uh, let me just ask you this question. Have you ever thought about your life and the people who have helped you succeed in life? I mean, Paul did. He's, he's later in life as he writes this, and he's remembering and names eight people that he commended to the church at Colossae. He calls them things like beloved brother, faithful minister, fellow servant, fellow prisoner. He says they've been a comfort to him, a servant of Christ, and he is struggling on their behalf. Now, I'm not going to read the passage, but I want to mention two of the men that he names. The first one is a guy named Onesimus. And he's mentioned in the Bible and other places. In fact, uh, Paul wrote uh, a letter directed kind of towards him. Uh, the letter is the, uh, mentioned in uh, to writing to uh, Philemon or Philemon or however you want to say it uh, later on. And Onesimus is kind of the subject matter of that because Onesimus was a runaway slave. And he met Paul uh, when Paul was in Rome and Paul led him to Christ. And, uh, and then he sent him back to, to Philemon, his master, and said, hey, treat him as a brother. He's changed. He's been a help to me. If there's any debt that he owes you, uh, consider it mine, my debt. Uh, so uh, Onesimus was faithful. He was faithful to, to God. He was faithful servant to Paul. The second one he mentions is a guy named Demas. And he's only, Demas is only mentioned three times in uh, the New Testament, uh, here, once in Philemon, and then in 2 Timothy 4. The, the problem with Demas is that he started as a faithful servant of Christ, but he didn't necessarily finish that way. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 9, Paul says, Do your best to come to me soon, for Demas, in love with this present world, has deserted me and gone to Thessalonica. So Demas started off uh, faithful, but he didn't end well. He ended up being unfaithful. Now, I have many people who have influenced my life, uh, and some uh, have served Christ faithfully to the end of their life. Some are still serving Christ faithfully. And unfortunately, some uh, walked away from Jesus, walked away from the gospel, uh, walked away from faithfulness. And, and I grieve that. But the question isn't whether or not the people who influenced you are still serving God or not. The question is simply this. The way that you're living your life, are you more likely at the end to be called Onesimus or are you going to be a Demas? Because the choice is up to each one of us and I pray that you choose faithfulness. I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.